Hi everyone, my name is Miranda. I am 17 years old and I am 10 weeks and 6 days pregnant. So, I have seen a lot of girls like Teen Mommy 2010, Gabe and Jess, Lens and Baby, like, um, there's more, I just can't think right now. Um, I've seen them do like pregnancy videos about each week and I thought that that would be a really good idea to do and just to share like everyone has a different pregnancy experience so I just thought I would do videos to share my experience and also just to look back on my pregnancy and how I felt that week and everything it's a really good way to just look back on your pregnancy and how you felt and everything like that because you want to remember all that stuff so that's pretty much why I'm doing videos so how I found out I was pregnant um I was extremely tired my boobs were really sore and I wasn't throwing up, but I would get nauseous, like, with certain smells and stuff, so I went on Google, and I looked up pregnancy symptoms, and, like, those were the main ones, and I was just like, alright, like, I'll take a pregnancy test. So, the positive sign came up so fast, like within and within like a second and I thought usually it took some time because it says like three minutes you know so I figure it took some time but no so then I took another one and it was positive and I took another one and it was positive so I was like okay like I must be pregnant and then I had a doctor appointment at the hospital and they said that um, they couldn't see anything. Like, usually they would see something and, like, what should be there wasn't there, I guess. But they had not even, like, I think they had a radiologist look at it. And I guess the radiologist isn't, like, that's not his specialty or whatever. So, we were just kind of confused so what was going on so then I had an appointment with my OB to see if she could clear it up like what was happening and she was like oh no you're for sure pregnant and I got to see it and its heart was beating and everything so I found out at six weeks and one day that I was pregnant and so far I'm still tired I still get nauseous I don't throw up I just get extremely nauseous and um, I was working at a restaurant and um, I'm in the kitchen all the time and I'm going non-stop I don't have a chance to sit down ever and my shifts are usually pretty long so I had to quit that because I couldn't smell the food it was constantly making me sick um, from standing my stomach would cramp I would get lightheaded and dizzy and it's just like it wasn't the right fit for me at this time especially because I need to take care of myself so I had to quit unfortunately but thank god my boyfriend has a pretty good job right now until I find a new one that suits my situation better um being pregnant at 17 definitely isn't ideal. You want pregnancy to me, it should be such a happy time and everyone, like, when you tell somebody you're pregnant, you expect, like, cheer, you know? Like, you want everyone to be on your side, but at, when you're a teenager, that's not always the case. And with friends, um, 
I guess my friends you would call like the party type. I don't know, like partiers. I don't know. So it's it's kind of hard to hang out with them because I can't do what we used to do anymore. So it's just kind of hard. So ever since I found that I was pregnant, I kind of just stay home. So you definitely do lose the closeness with your friends. I haven't lost them as friends, but just the closeness that I had with them is it's no longer there, unfortunately. And um, I've been taking my prenatals which are, I think it's called Vitafusion, um, prenatals, and they're not pills, they're actually gummies, I hate taking pills, so, like, the prenatal pills were huge, and I could not, I didn't want to do it, I have a phobia of choking, so, not a phobia, a fear, right, a fear, yeah, a fear of choking, so, Yes, I take the gummies, and it's weird because some days they smell so good to me, and they taste good, and then the other day, I open the bottle, and like, the smell that you get when you open the bottle, it's disgusting to me, and it makes me nauseous instantly, so it's, it's weird how your body is affected by stuff like that. And I also take vitamin D because when I got my labs, all my blood work, apparently I was low on vitamin D. Probably just a baby stealing it all. So I'm taking vitamin D. Um, those are the only, oh, I have stretch marks. I'm paranoid. I really don't want stretch marks. I got some from puberty, but... I know pregnancy ones can be so much worse. So I have like Palmer's cocoa butter formula. It's called tummy butter, I think. And um, I also heard that just like breaking vitamin E capsules open and then rubbing that all over your stomach, that helps a lot. So I might do both just to I'm gonna ask my OB what she thinks, but I might do both just to make sure I don't get stretch marks, hopefully. Um, I am 10 weeks and six days, so like I'm paranoid of miscarriage. I'm, I'm really scared about that. And I'm hoping that it doesn't happen. So hopefully it won't. Um, my OB said that since they've seen the baby twice already, with an ultrasound that the percentage of miscarriage is now 7%. So, hopefully, it that doesn't happen to me. So, I only have two more weeks to worry. And then, hopefully, the worry is over. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, my weeks start over tomorrow, Thursday. So... I guess I'll try to update every Thursday, maybe. So, I guess I'll show you guys my tummy. Okay. And this is with my webcam. It's probably not that good. Okay, so, that is with a shirt on front. Left. And then, right, and then with my shirt up, it's like that, like that, and then like that. Okay, well. Thank you guys for watching, if anybody watched. <laughs> um, if anybody watches and has new questions, feel free to ask and I can answer them. So, yeah, I will update next week. Bye!